Wealth does not remain static, especially during the fluctuating industry scenario today. India has produced several billionaires who occupy a significant number of slots on the list of wealthiest persons in the world today. The lavish lifestyle of the billionaires has been a dream of every Indian because of the most attractive world which surrounds them. Today, we are going to be discussing about some of the facts of Indian billionaires and the other ones revolving them. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Make sure you stay tuned until number one so as to ensure that you don't want to miss the most magnificent and luxurious thing bought by the most famous billionaire, the top billionaires. Mukesh Ambani, who has successfully diversified his oil and gas empire into fast-rising sectors such as telecom and retail, reclaimed his spot as Asia's richest person with a net worth of $84.5 billion. The second spot has been taken by infrastructure tycoon Gautam Adani with a $50.5 billion, with shares of his companies including Adani Enterprises and Adani Green Energy rocketed. Adani, who shares Gujarati roots and a deal-making instinct with Ambani, expanded aggressively into airports unfazed by the travel slowdown. He also secured Francis Total, his partner in the gas business, to invest in his renewable energy company. The third place is banged by Shiv Nadar, an Indian billionaire industrialist, the founder and chairman emeritus of HCL Technologies Limited, and the Shiv Nadar Foundation. Nadar founded HCL in the mid-1970s and transformed the IT hardware company into an IT enterprise over the next three decades by constantly reinventing his company's focus. The Inequality According to a report by the Johannesburg-based company New World Wealth, India is the second most unequal country globally, with millionaires controlling 54% of its wealth. With a total individual wealth of $5,600 billion, it's among the 10 richest countries in the world. And yet, the average Indian is relatively poor. In India, the richest 1% owns 53% of the country's wealth, according to the latest data from Credit Suisse. The richest 5% owns 68.6%, while the top 10% have 70 6.3%. At the other end of the pyramid, the poor half jostles for a mere 4.1% of national wealth. Oxfam believes that this sharp rise in inequality in India and in many countries around the world is damaging and that countries need to make an effort to curb it. Rising inequality will lead to slower poverty reduction, undermine the sustainability of economic growth, and compound the inequalities between men and women and drive inequalities in health, education, and life chances. Rushing out millennials. The world's millionaires are moving to new countries at a higher rate than ever, Bloomberg reported, often for tax purposes or to escape a country's economic or political tensions. The wealthy today don't have a country, Riaz H. Joffrey, a partner at Withers Worldwide, which helps affluent clients relocate around the world, told the New York Times in 2017. They don't view their success as being related or dependent on a single country, but on their own business strategies. It's amazing to me how many of the very wealthy are going totally mobile. Australia is the top destination for for the ultra-wealthy these days, followed by the US, Canada, and Switzerland. Many wealthy foreigners are likely drawn to Australia for its low crime rate, the lack of an inheritance tax like in the US, and the country's overall safety, according to the NWW report. Inside the exotic garage of Mukesh Ambani Mukesh Ambani owns BMW i8 and Bentley Bentayga in his garage among his 168 car collection. Mukesh Ambani's BMW i8 is one of the most stunning cars in India. The businessman owns it in a gorgeous matte black shade. It's a hybrid sports car and has been considered one of the most futuristic cars in the world. He also owns a vanity van for which he had to pay $200,000 as a tax to drive on road for once. Scooter to Ferrari Gautam Adani, the 52-year-old shy billionaire, lives in his sprawling bungalow off the Sarkej Gandhinagar Highway in Ahmedabad. He grew up in the modest threat and poly area of the walled city where people still remember him riding his gray Bajaj super scooter in the 1980s. His first car was a Maruti 800. Today, he's the proud owner of a fleet of luxury cars, which includes BMWs and stretch limousines. But his favorite, people close to him say, is his red Ferrari. Today, his house, they say, has a helipad, and his fleet includes three three helicopters, three Bombardier and Beechcraft planes with a seating capacity of 8, 37, and 50 respectively. The favorite plaything. Indian tycoons and others able to afford fares running into millions of rupees are booking flights to bolt holes in Europe, the Middle East, and the Indian Ocean. While Perkins and Will have built heaven on earth for the Ambani's, the makers of one of their private jets like to market their planes as flying homes. Equipped with all the amenities one could imagine and more, a private bedroom suite to a fully equipped executive office, this enormous plane boasts a string of fancy features. The three ultra-luxurious private jets owned by Mukesh Ambani are Boeing Business Jet, 
Death, $73 million, Falcon 900X Jet, and an Airbus A319. Gautam Adani's businesses are expanding at a tremendous speed, so Adani has bought aircraft and helicopters to cope up with his business. The fleet of jet includes a Bombardier, a Beechcraft, and a Hawker aircraft. Adani also owns an Augusta Westland AW139 helicopter worth 1.6 million rupees. According to a Business Standard report, Shivnadar owns two private jets, a Beechcraft and a Hawker. The wedding that India has obsessed. Even by the standards of Indian weddings, the union of Isha, the daughter of Mukesh Ambani, and Anad, the son of Ajay Piramal, one of the wealthiest businessmen in Mumbai, was stupendous. Estimates for the cost of the December festivities ranged from a few tens of millions of dollars to $100 million. An appearance by Beyonce is said to have cost $10 million alone. Guests including the famous personalities as the Bakan family, Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukone, Ranbir Singh, and Sachin Tendulkar knew they were in for something extraordinary when they received the invitation, which came packaged inside a huge treasure chest. A widely viewed five-minute long video of a pair of unknown hands opening the invitation revealed its contents, which ranged from elaborately packaged European biscuits to golden mesh caskets containing jewels. So many private planes flew into airports around India's biggest city to attend the multi-day event that the skies in the vicinity were totally clogged up. Most of the foreign dignitaries were oblivious to much of what was going on around them. They danced happily as Beyonce sang and took photos of her revealing costume, but many were unaware of some of the more subtle touches. For her wedding day, Isha Ambani chose an ivory and golden, heavy embellished lehenga by ace designer Abu Jani Sandeep Kosla. The entire lehenga set had delicate handwork. It had a 16-paneled gagra. The hero of her wedding look was the old red sari of her mother Nita Ambani, which she wore as a dupatta. Isha Ambani's stunning lehenga reportedly costs no less than $12.4 million. The not so humble abode, Antilia. Mukesh Ambani's not so humble abode, Antilia, is named after the phantom island Antilia, which is in the Atlantic Ocean. Reliance's Mukesh Ambani and Nita Ambani are the owners of the second most expensive home in the world. The 400,000 square foot is 27 stories high in the heart of South Mumbai, but since some ceilings are double height, it's closer to the size of a 40 story building. In the year 2014, Antilia was valued at a whopping $2 billion, which roughly translates to 200 crore. The building has three helipads and oversees Mumbai skyline and Arabian Sea to welcome the guests who come by air. The luxurious property has been built to withstand an earthquake of even 8 Richter scale. The house is dedicated entertainment space, a grand entrance, massive living rooms, 6th floor car parking and more. Antilia contains a multi-story garage with space for 168 cars. The lobby alone has 9 elevators. There's also a spa, terraced gardens and a temple where the family prays regularly. This blueprint shows the two-story recreation center. It also has a ballroom, guest suites, and theater that seat 50. The architectural design of Antilia has been fashioned along the lines of Lotus and the Sun. The top six floors of the building have been set aside as the private full-floor residential area. So, this was it for today. And while you're here, go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel so as to never miss an update as this. See you there!